For the last month, we have found ourselves living in Marmaris, a resort town along the Turkish Riviera. It is fantastic for Bodies with its many anchorages and its chandleries, with almost anything you could need. Holiday makers fill the town with an abundance of restaurants, beach bars and nightclubs. There seem to be a lot of tourists from the UK and facilities to cater for them. With football bars, I enjoyed the Geordie Bar, English breakfasts and daily boat trips, blasting Sweet Caroline. For those who love their sleep, I would recommend a different anchorage on a Saturday night, as that's when the party really starts, with boats pumping the music until 12. We found it all quite entertaining. This week we leave Marmaris in search of some tranquility as our friends arrive from Australia. We are blessed with consistent winds as we sail from Marmaris to Gocek. With crystal clear water and blue skies we decide to stop in at a small bay that has everything we need, a fantastic restaurant and turtles, before sailing into Gocek, where we are shocked at the number and size of boats present in the bay. We then head for the hills and visit the famous Defne restaurant in Nuvalakche. It's a day that keeps on surprising us right till the end. These are the things we do on Kauai for our friends. It's midnight and we are going in. I actually feel sorry for them. We are giving them a ride and their luggage in this tiny tender. Um, but it'll be great to see them. It wasn't Nick and Richo's first time on Kauai. They have visited us previously in Montenegro, which always makes it a little easier as they know what to expect. We also knew what to expect, Aussie gifts. Thanks heaps, guys. Been at lunch with Richo and Nick, and uh, it's the best day we've had here in Marmaris Anchorage so far, so it's, about 33 degrees, calm. It's just been a perfect day, really. And we've got an Arvo full of relaxation before we leave. We're going to sail tomorrow, so it's Arvo, a couple of drinks, a couple of swim, games, swim. Games, yep. Yeah, happy. Oh, yeah, it's pretty good. Beautiful temperature, not freezing. Oh, don't wear it! <laughs> it wasn't long before the winds arrived and it was time to leave. The crew were given their jobs and we could set sail. Our plan was to sail 20 nautical miles from Marmaris to Ekenik Bay, where we would anchor the night before a larger 40 nautical mile sail to Gocek, where we planned to anchor in the bay opposite the town. Bye Marmaris, it's been a pleasure. Okay Nick, get us out of here. Mark the course.
first beer, Richo, on the trip? That's a lie. Not really. <laughs> but sure. First one on this first trip. <laughs> on Kauai, yes. First one on Kauai. Very good. Ooh, most cold. Delicious. Very cold. Nick, are you going to crack yours? Um, no, that's your beer, isn't it? Well, that depends. Are you wanting a beer? No, I'm good, thank you. No sense of occasion. Trace, are you like the responsible one on the well? Always. Always. Not always, but um, once we get to the anchorage, Trace will let loose. That's what she's. The, that's what she's the captain. Yeah. yeah. No one else can be. She has uh, the self-control. Yeah. No one else can be trusted. So what a sailing morning it's been. It's been oh, lovely. Beautiful day. What do you think, Nick? Happy. It's been a very pleasant morning. Yes. So I think we got top speed was maybe 7.3 knots. Cap, pretty happy with that? Yeah. Top speed. Yeah. True winds is 12 and a half. Apparent is 9. Oh. Lovely. Pretty good. So yeah, it's pretty good. Little swell. Just very minimal swell. Watermaker is running downstairs and we're just having some uh, some chit chat with a few snacks. Yeah. How long? Yeah, by 4 p.m. Right on schedule. Arrival. Yeah. I reckon we'll get there before four. I reckon we'll get there before four as well. So do I. We'll hit a bit more breeze when we get out a bit further. Yeah. The Arvo is meant to be windier, so. Excellent. Nice one. <laughs> ah, good timing. You busted me. You just like you set me up. I mean. I handed it you to handed you. handed it to me and then you started Then I go for you. But I was about to thank you. Sorry, She's been doing it all day, hasn't she, Richard? <laughs> all day. <laughs> Nick's in control. She's the only one that's sober. Take the wheel. <laughs> it's always exciting going to a new anchorage. And as we rounded the headland into the bay, we hoped for something special. Pine trees lined the shore with sand at seven metres. Perfect. We also had a number of loggerhead turtles in the bay. Oh, pretty keen for a swim, Richo. We've just pulled uh, up. I just had to save the fender. <laughs> Nick was putting it out. Nick, what and we happened, said Nick? to Nick, give it a bit of shoulder through there and... It broke. It broke. <laughs> Nick is too strong. Oh, that's funny. Uh, Oops. It's, how's the water, Richo? Oh, it's beautiful. It's not even cold. It's actually warm. I might go back in. <laughs> we'll get the ladder so I don't have to pull you up again, but yeah, well done. Good, good no. save. Oh. And well, it's probably a good time to say we've made it. Yeah. Where'd we make? Ekinik Bay. Yeah. There we go. Oh, okay. Ekinik Bay. And we'll get the stats off you a little bit later. Oh, after you... Pretty consistent sail. It's lovely. 20 nautical miles, four and a half hours. Oh, Beautiful. Bring it out. All right, we'll get the breakdown later. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky open. It's time. We've been waiting a long time for this. Yes, we have. <laughs> I think oh. there's a safety cap. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Let's see if this works She's now. This My great grandmother's Turkish. Yeah. <laughs> no, no! <laughs> we purchased Raki as it's the national drink of Turkey and a unique experience for our guests. Next time I think we will try to ease into it a little more as they were a little bit strong but I think you'll be able to tell that if you continue watching. Yeah.
holy <laughs> bright light. Hi guys. Hi guys. Um, yeah. Do we have a good evening? Oh, it's no. great. I think um, this footage is going to be rubbish. <laughs> Who cares, it, man? It's very bright. All we can see is a little star in the sky. That's why. Head towards the middle star. Happy with what you got going on there, Cap? Yes, very happy. Very happy. It's such light winds and we've got about 40 degree of apparent wind angle. Just proves it why he loves this direction. As we sailed into Gocek, it was evident that Gocek's beauty and charm was no longer a secret. It had been approximately four years since our last visit and it was busy. Mega yachts lined the bay. Boats that once looked large now didn't stand out. The tenders stood out more than anything as they rushed back and forth through the bay, picking up, dropping off guests and buying all the necessary items one must have on a mega yacht. The anchorage within the six marinas is hectic, but fun for a couple of days and has great access to the restaurants and supermarkets, as you do see some crazy sights, like this convertible car boat. As night falls, the mood evolves, and the darkness comes alive with mast lights, underwater lights, and navigation lights of the hard-working tenders. Gocek received special protection in 1988, so as a result no high-rise buildings are allowed, which contributes to the boutique feel of the area. Instead, hundreds of restaurants line the bay, taking in the clear waters and atmosphere. Hello? Oh, hello. What are you doing? Oh, I've just dropped off the Richardsons, they're going to explore. I've already dropped you off this morning, you've gone for a run and I'm just waiting to pick people up. Yeah, I was... a glorified, glorified taxi, water I, taxi. I was uh, over there filming you, stalking you through the restaurant and guess what song was playing? <laughs> Today I'm not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> I am doing things, yes, I am waiting, I'm very relaxed. I didn't bring thongs or shoes, so I can't go anywhere. Um, yeah, it's all good, it's all good. you busy here and it's a bit more upmarket, like I find, that's my... Uh... Go check is way more upmarket than Marmaris and... Than it used to be, I mean, yeah, in comparison it's to before. Very, it's... Um, it's a lot of very nice restaurants. Yeah. And I always tell by the cost of the FS. Yes. A draft FS in uh, Marmaris, you get 30 Turkish lira here. I've seen 55, so... I just saw a 50. You saw a 50? Yeah. It's still more than 30. Yeah. <laughs> Where are we going today? We're no, going... No idea. <laughs> We're going to a restaurant. Uh, at a restaurant that has fresh water rivulets and lovely little day swings, day beds and swings. Very good, Nick, you've been listening. So we're, we're, so we're told, told, at least. <laughs> <laughs> Sneeze was the start of a special friendship with Yasha, our taxi driver. He agreed to take us to the Yuvalakche Defne restaurant, wait for us to enjoy lunch and return us home to Gocek. The 45 minute drive from Gocek was windy and mountainous. He was extremely kind and thoughtful and the moment he wanted to push us on the swing, we knew he was special. We returned the favour and we could see the joy it brought. The restaurant itself was above the crystal clear fresh water which cooled the area. Forty 
easy. Uh, it's a bit of a track, like from Go Check, it took about 45 minutes, but it's worth it. It's really relaxing and mm. really nice temperature. It's cool and there's no rushing. Everyone's really relaxed, so no, I'm happy. It's good. Lots of lots of uh, spots. Yeah. There was lots of uh, fake Daphne restaurants along the way. Yeah, lots of restaurants on the way, like probably 10, 15 different restaurants, but you gotta go to the last one. Yeah. And um, yeah, so it's worth it. Really happy. Yeah. <laughs> After a perfect day, Yasha continued to surprise us. He stopped in and purchased some strawberries for us before inviting us to meet his family. Before we knew it, we had sampled Turkish coffee, ermic, cucumbers and pears. Then he'd gifted us with walnuts, eggs, cucumbers from his farm and a magical experience with his family. The highlight of the day. So what just happened, Richard? Just embarrassed myself. Just, <laughs> just spilled everyone. Just spilt. Do you have a coffee? Mm -hmm. This one? Oh, this one. Oh, the great that every time you come here it's a different experience it's great sad to be leaving yes and we had some good sales didn't we yeah great sailing this time mm. thank you so much for hosting us we Aww. had an awesome time pleasure anytime until the, next time the pleasure is all ours yep. bye. bye Richard bye guys bye Kawhi Thank you for a great time. <laughs> Thank you for a fun time. Until we meet again. Until we yeah. meet again. Enjoy the rest of your trip. Bye. Next week we head south to Fetia to shelter from strong winds before going back in time to explore the ghost towns of Kayakoi, the ancient Lycian tombs, and Jace gets his Turkish pancakes at the incredible Fetia markets. Thanks heaps for watching. If you've continued to watch after our Raki consumption, we really appreciate you and would love it if you subscribed. It's free and it helps us out. Cheers!